Welcome everyone. I had went to Awesome Con in uh, DC yesterday, and I wanted to share all the fantastic uh, things I got signed. Uh, let's see, I have Amazing Spider-Man, the uh, 35th annual. It came out in 20 uh, in 2008, signed by uh, pencilist Mike McCone. My man. PKJ, Philip Kennedy Johnson was uh, over there, so I got uh, the uh, one shot Carnage Forever signed by him. This will go nicely with um, my many other uh, Carnage PKJ things, and as well as Alien number one, which I have a couple other uh, variant covers of Alien number one signed by him as well. So that has a real nice place to go. I had also brought a couple of Dark Crystal books, but uh, I felt a little intimated of making him sign a bunch of things, so I just got to. But, you know, he uh, he comes around often, so eventually I'll have my entire collection of his stuff there uh, signed. And uh, for all you Star Wars fans, there I got a couple of pretty awesome uh, Star Wars uh, signatures, actually. So I'm showing these great things off, but before I start with that... Um, Thrawn. This is not a comic, but a novel written by Timothy Zahn. He is the creator of the upcoming villain, uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn, who is uh, featured in the Rebels TV show, if anyone has seen that, as the main antagonist, at least uh, in the later seasons. And his name is dropped at least once in uh, Mandalorian uh, Season 1. Or maybe is it season two? I, I know sometime in The Mandalorian, they, they say his name. So, he's out there. Um, let's see. Timothy Zahn had uh, first written uh, Heir to the Throne, which was is kind of like the first uh, Star Wars book taking place right after Return of the Jedi. Uh, and that's where we first meet this character, Thrawn. Uh, now that uh, story, Heir to the Throne, is the first of like a trilogy of like the Thrawn invasion, um, and there's uh, another book that I have, which the last time I went to Osakam, I actually won it. Uh, Timothy's on the sign, but it was um, Outbound Flight, Star Wars Outbound Flight, and that takes place uh, a few years before the Clone Wars. So, and that features. A character who I think is Thrawn, I forgot to ask Tim about it, but um, he goes by, I guess, his first name, which is like Myth Maradtho, or it was something like that. It was really hard to pronounce. Uh, I meant to ask him about that, but it was pretty cool. Uh, he and I got to talk about the um, that Thrawn's going to be coming in the live action soon, and I told him how my, my number one choice would have been uh, Giancarlo Esposito, but unfortunately, he already has Moff Gideon, so he can't be both. And, and he, de he definitely agreed with me that he would have been a, a great Thrawn. And now, on that note, speaking of Moff Gideon and uh, Mr. Esposito, a.k.a. Gus Fring, my man, I got him to sign this fantastic Mandalorian uh, variant cover of Darth Vader 21. Even wrote Moff Gideon down there. Uh, the line for his thing was horrendous. I was like there for just under two hours um, to, to get him to sign this. So that was something. But it was really nice to see him. Uh, by the time I got to see him, he was like extremely exhausted. You can tell. Um, and you know, just like his characters, he was very deadpan and like dry. So that was fun. Now, those are all great and all, but the biggest thing I got signed was this awesome uh, Star Wars number 31 for a 40-year anniversary. This is a uh, yeah, variant cover for the 40th year anniversary. But I got it signed by Mr. Anthony Daniel, who is the voice of C-3PO. From uh, episodes 1 all the way through 9. 
and even in uh, Rogue One. And unlike what this uh, comic says right here, unlike the very well-known famous line, he really was the droid that I was looking for, and he was fantastic. So I got those, and last thing I got signed was this, um, was the uh, Marvel Voices uh, Identity Number 1 for um, Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month which uh, I featured in uh, its own video just a few weeks ago. But it got signed by one of the cover artists and the uh, artist for the first story, uh, Kreese Lee. And this was actually my favorite interaction out of all of them, I, I think. Well, it's really hard to tell. I, don't know. I, I really love PKJ. We had a really nice uh, talk about family and, and just things in general. But like with uh, Kreese Lee... We actually like had a moment to geek out with one another and um, like the moment I pulled this out for him to sign he got super excited and was like really happy to sign this for me and was asking you know what I thought of uh, the story that he worked on and he had even showed the uh, like the originals that he had done for that which was cool and then he uh, like looked around and pulled out his uh, portfolio and showed me that uh, he had uh, you know, some things that uh, he got signed, um, you know, while there too. And that was, uh, that was pretty cool. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. Well, that was awesome con and it was great. I wish I could have been there longer, uh, but kudos to, uh, Temway. He came and saved the day for me because I was supposed to be working. Um, now I, over here, uh, there was also another signing at Third Eye Comics, where, who featured writer and artist Scotty Young, and I was able to get him to sign two different variants uh, for his newest project, Twig, from Image Comics. Uh, this is the uh, Peach Momoko variant cover that he had signed, and... He, of course, did a variant cover himself for his story, so he signed that one also. And now uh, a couple things uh, from a few years ago. I have uh, Venom issue 150. This is the Scotty Young uh, variant cover that I got. Uh, I was really excited for him to sign this because it's a milestone issue, 150 issues. And not only that, but this is the uh, issue that uh, brings back Eddie Brock into the symbiote suit. So that was uh, that's really cool to get signed. And uh, from one of my favorite stories uh, of the X-Men of all time, uh, Powers of X. This is issue number four, and this is the Scotty Young variant cover featuring, featuring Mr. Sinister. Well, that's uh, all the goodies I have to show for you guys. Um, I'll be back soon with some actual reviews. And thanks for uh, tuning in to, uh, you know, let me show off uh, all the great stuff I got. Uh, I was so excited. It's fantastic. Oh, until next time. Bye.